What is up, everybody? Jayco here today, and can I make a video, please? Can I make a video, please? Excuse me. Move down, down. Good girl. What is up, everybody? Jayco here today, and today, oh my god, today I'm making a video, and I made a video about this before, but it just blew my mind, so I wanted to make this video. So today's video is talking about my most favorite game ever. Now I'm not gonna say this is my most favorite of this game. This is my most favorite game ever. Now there's a lot of games that I liked as a child and I replayed uh, when I was older, but I just never felt that nostalgia that I had when I was a child. Now this video game is based on a show I watched throughout my childhood, so I'm re-, re um, playing what I seen when I was younger. Bella, keep your diaper on. Bella, pull your diaper up. So, I am a, I have a PlayStation 4, I have a PlayStation 3, I have an Xbox One, I have a Nintendo Switch, I'm gonna get the PS5 next year. Um, probably not gonna get the next Xbox just cause I only play Forza on it, can you not? And, Bella, you wanna come for the video? Come sit with us. Come on, come here. You gotta be part of the video. There you go. Okay. So, now, a series that I played for the longest time every single year was NBA 2K. But NBA 2K is fun to an extent, but it can get boring and so on and so forth. So, not only that, NBA 2K is a game that really tries to grab your money and has a lot of microtransactions, right? So, this game is basically a $60 game. And in my case, I feel you really get your $60 worth while playing this game. Now, oh God, I don't know if you guys can see Junior. Junior! You wanna be part of the video, Junior? Junior. So, without further ado, this is not only the best game of its class, it's the best game I have ever played. And I'm gonna explain it to you why. So this game just came out. It was announced like nine months ago and I pre-ordered it like seven months ago. And for the last, oh my God. Oh my God. Y'all fucking stink. You stink. Oh. So for the last like eight months, I've been anticipating it. I saw a lot of videos on it, but I didn't have a lot of high, um, high, um, what's the word for it? Here's the word for it. I know you guys think that. I'll th and I'll figure it out later. I'll be like, wow, I did not think that. High expectations for it. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to announce the game. And I'm going to announce the best game surrounding that game. And why this game is the best. So, without further ado, the game is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Now, PS5 is coming out. I'm sure this would have looked 100 times better on the PS5 next year. But I'd rather have it now. So, the last few games that we got for Dragon Ball Z on the PlayStation 4 were Project, uh, sorry, Fighter Z, Xenoverse 2, and Xenoverse 1. That's it. Now, why I didn't like these games? I don't really like playing Dragon Ball Z online. I feel like it's such spamming of buttons to get where you want to get. And then another thing I don't like is they try to recreate the story and make a different story, and it's just. It's here, it's there, it's everywhere. I just don't like it. Now, if there were like what if scenarios, like I would have loved that, but um, the story in Project Z, problem, Fighter Z, I really didn't like. Xenoverse 2, I really didn't like, and Xenoverse 1, really, I didn't really like. I didn't like the longevity of the games. Those games have been trying to be prolonged for years, and I've just had them, and I just really didn't care for it. Custom character creation, didn't really care for. Everything just felt the same, where in, in um, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, the levels go on as the story goes on. So you get level progression based upon what happens in the story. Goku's training before he goes to Nami, you get levels for that. So it's very true to the story. Now it doesn't have a lot of the um, non-canon stuff, or what do they call that? The filler episode stuff. Which is good and which is bad. I really like to walk on Snake Way. There's a lot of things I really like to do. They added the car scene in there when Piccolo and, and Goku got their driver's license. But I just want to say the longevity of this game. It's not just going through the story 
and ending the story. There's a lot of different things and it's very, very in-depth and I can't really explain it here, but it's very um, Legacy of Goku, Legacy of Goku 2 Boo Fairy-esque. Now why I say that is because I love the fighting mechanics of this game where I don't like it in the other games, where you can see how much your attack hits, what their level is, what their HP is, and all that other stuff. It's just really, go, go, lay down. It's just really cool to me, and it makes me feel like I'm having fun playing the game. Uh, you can do training and learn different skills and attacks. There's a lot of different open world maps. I would say there's like 12 to 15 open world maps where you can travel along and stuff like that. Um, another thing is emblems. You can get these, collect these emblems and you put them on a chart and then you get bonuses for people connect. It's, it's very in-depth. So for $60, it's well worth the money. If I were you and you had any sense of liking Dragon Ball Z or have that nostalgia for it, um, I just watched the show like six months ago, but if I haven't seen the show in like four, five, six years and I just saw the game, literally there's about 12 hours of cutscenes in this game. Now, it could be boring to some, but I think they do it pretty well. So, are the graphics the best in the world? No, they're not. Um, but like I said, it's the longevity. Um, I got this game on the 17th, it's now the 21st, so four days about eight hours a day I've been playing and I just got to um, the time skip from after Gohan beat Cell. So now I gotta play all that Boo Saga era. So that's gonna take me at least a day or two, possibly three, probably two, probably two days. So I'm really enjoying it. Uh, when it's all said and done, I'm gonna go back and collect all the emblems and stuff and do all the side missions. There's a lot of side missions as well. But I don't like doing them while I'm in the story. I like getting to the story. And now I don't rush this. You can rush this and skip all the everything. You can skip the storyline, all this stuff, and just do the fights. But they're very, very enjoyable and they're very, very rewarding. So I mean like one fight can give you like 2 million XP and level you up easily. So leveling up is also key. I believe you can get to level 100. So And then you learn attacks based on your level and then you have to go to the training grounds and you have to fight against yourself and other people of the same level in order to get special attacks. Like I just learned Final Flash for Vegeta. So very, very cool game, very much worth it. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is officially my favorite game ever and officially my favorite Dragon Ball Z game ever. So the games that come behind this in the Dragon Ball Z world is Tenkaichi 3 and Budokai 3 and then Infinite Worlds and then um, Tenkaichi 2. Those are my favorite Dragon Ball Z games. And then with the Game Boy Advance is the whole legacy of Goku and Boo Fury. Those were fun too. What I would fix of this game if I could, um, the graphics would make it better. Um, not that they're awful, but I would make them better. Uh, to actually walk up to opponents in that space land instead of like flying to an area. Just like go up and be able to just like start a fight. It's more simple. Um... I would definitely add more filler content, uh, add more characters that you can use to fight with and, and level up and everything like that, which I'm sure they're going to do in DLCs. And hopefully in DLCs, they add more stuff like all the movies, maybe Dragon Ball, maybe Super. You know, that would be really, really cool. And I'd be willing to pay an extra $60 to $100 for all of that. So Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, amazing game, worth every penny. You got a PS4, you got an Xbox One, you got a PC, get it. It's well worth your time. Hope you guys all have a great day. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for all things Jay Ryan. You love me, guys? Where's Junior? Junior, come over here, Junior! Baby Junior! My babies! Alright, let's go. I gotta eat. Come on, let's go. Down. Daddy's hungry. Yeah!